very Commi committed, committed, committed guy. devoted, yeah, right. passionate, passionate guy. and not yeah, only right. passionate, right. Frank, he was deeply concerned yeah, right. about everything. Yeah. That man was a devoted right. reader. Mm -hmm. he oh, yes. Plays, right, right. novels. He was yes, interested to learn right. different languages. Yes. He was very, yeah. like, you know, right. when you hear yeah. him talk, right. it was incredible to see the way that he... One of the great tragedies thing. of our society is that too many kids are turning their back on the kind of education that can give that for them, okay? Right. I, 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 I'm passionate about that. Education is where life begins. Uh -huh. You learn, okay? It's not just learning the alphabet and learning to read and write and so on and so forth, but it's finding your way to books, okay? And, and you pick up a book and you say, uh, I gotta, I, there are times I can pick up a book and I can go like this, uh -huh. and I say, this one's worth reading. <laughs> this one's not really, no, really, honestly, okay? Like the one that you have yeah, right oh, now. Yes, this one, this one, this one, The Great Gatsby. Book. This is a great, great book. It's okay? a Bible. It, it, it's it, 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 Fitzgerald Right, writers. yes, okay? This is Master. one of the great, if not the greatest, American writer. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Oh, I like Hemingway, too. We're yeah, Hemingway's all right, but Fitzgerald is... Hemingway like was like him. No, I know, Hemingway I know. was a man. Fitzgerald is a god. Okay, yeah. right? Okay, let me put it that way. As, as far as I'm concerned, okay. Yes, my father says he's a big fan of yeah, Fitzgerald. Yes, yes, oh, yes, not yes. Frank. He 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 took when I talked about language being a religion with Scott Fitzgerald, language was a religion, and yes. it's that it's a beautiful, beautiful way he uses words. Yeah. He was crazy in no a way. Uh, look, right. honey, there are people who say anybody well, who becomes an actor or a writer or so is a little bit crazy. cuckoo. Yeah, right. No, you know, yeah, right. It's yeah, an yes, insane yeah. profession. Right, yeah, okay, yes. You know, it, but again, we, we, we suffer through things. There's a lot of privation that goes on, you know, a lot yeah. of times. I mean, name a job, sissy, and I'll bet you I've done it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, Incredible. okay, yeah, sure. And you, I know you've been around. Yes, but no, but again, if, if you wanted, you, you had to support yourself. Again, we get back to you had to eat, you had to pay the rent, so on and so forth. If you wanted to do that, and, so, and you wanted to write all at the same time, okay, you know, uh, it, it's, uh, you know, my plays have been done. Uh, I haven't made any money from them, okay. They've been very well received, uh, which is very satisfying. One of the theatrical newspapers, I was just telling one of the, the, the staff here a while ago, one of the theatrical newspapers uh, in 97 or 98 said one of my plays done off of Broadway was one of the 10 best of the year, okay? Yeah. That's a very I gratifying experience, okay? Yes. Yeah. We talked <coughs> about that before. All right. um, the, the rewards of the arts are rewards inside. Okay, I mean, that sounds maybe a little bit, but it's, it's, it's how you feel about it, okay? Yeah, yeah, people make money in the arts. A lot of people, my friend, we're talking about Pacino. Well, he's made money, okay? Yeah, this is a man, he's right. an actor. Right, yeah, right. Here we're talking yeah, about it. Right. We're going to show a clip, yeah, uh, okay. Frank, from this exquisite right, right. documentary yes. that he created. Yes. Uh, approximately, maybe, I don't know, maybe six years ago, seven Someplace years ago. Someplace in there, ago, yeah, right, yeah. Babylonia? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Where he talks about the craft, right. about acting, what yes. it means to him, uh, and yes. the passion. Mm -hmm. cause and he had it, he, I, mean, I mean, I've known Al since he was a 16-year-old kid, and he's always had the passion about it. I mean, and it was always there. I used to kid him about it, you know? I used to kid him about it. Incredible friend, you got all the stories. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Since you know. he was a bicycle no. rider, well, right? Well, a messenger. Yes, he was a messenger boy. For, he worked for me as a messenger boy. and. Um, and I, I, used to, I kid him, I'd say, what are you going to do? He says, I'm going to be an actor. I'm going to be an actor. And he was. He, he is. He is. He is. No, he's one of the finest actors of our time. No question about it. I mean, you know, when you talk about all the great actors of our time, he's there. He's no right question. there. Yeah, absolutely. You talk about Brando, Newman, any one of those, Al's, Al's there, uh, they're equal. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and let me say something else. For him as an actor, he also loved them as actors. Okay, he loved what they did. He watched it and he, 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 he reveled in it, okay? And when you see it, as a person, a writer for the theater, an actor for the theater, when you see it, you, it, 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 it just feeds you. It just feeds you when you see the real thing. It just feeds you. Beautiful. Can we show a clip, uh, Mr. Mike Tapp in the control room? Let me know when you're ready. We're gonna show a clip of the documentary. Just let me know, ready to roll. When you're ready, you're ready. But I want to show this, Frank. I think he's just sure. The great centenaire greats gave forth. Yeah, like you say in the theater, great ghosts. The great ghosts. ghosts. Yeah. I mean, Can you feel amazing. them here? 
Well, you think back of Stell Parsons and Paul Newman and James and Dean was on this floor. Wow. Um, I mean, you, you can't name an actor who hasn't been uh, been in this space. This is where, and this is where all the films I did, these three pictures, where they uh, they 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 had their. Um, this is where they started. Like Stigmatic, for instance, came out of this. I remember Lee Strasberg sitting there, us doing the scene for him. Duh. And uh, after each scene, we call this place sessions. Th th this would be sessions where you have a session and 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 where you did some work, and then you, you you're afterward. You're not so much critiqued, but you're you're uh, you're you're asked to talk about why you did this and, and what's, your, what's your plan and if we can help in any way and how can we contribute to the thing and how, how you feel about doing it in front of us and when you do it again and, and where do you want to go with this. And it's a, it's, a learning, it's a learning session where you find out about how you feel about your work. Sometimes people do things here and, and go on to do them in other places but also quit it you know, and say, no, I... I, I and, 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 but here, you do anything. As, as Lee Strasberg once said, we, we take all kinds here. <laughs> so. It's also, you can make the mistakes here. Well, well the point is, you, yes, you, you finally realize that the, the idea is that, is that you always make mistakes. That's what you strive for. You strive for a freedom that allows you to, when I watch Vanessa Redgrave on the stage, I really see someone who is maybe not going to make it. She's, she's insecure. She's, she's, I don't know where she's going. She's, yeah. she's going to be really off. She's going to forget her lines or she's going to fall yeah. or she's just not going to be able to do it. She's going to quit. So you're with her in that way and that's what's so exciting because she's finding in herself right in front of you. She's experimenting and I think that that's inspiring. And a lot of times you see that right here. You see it in this room. They call it a sense of danger that anything can happen that it's not sure. There's a sort of uh, um, uh, security. That's yeah. <laughs> Keep going with the little clip right mm -hmm. there. We just show Mr. Al Pacino at the actor's studio. Right. Talking about acting. What he had to say was basically a fundamental acting lesson, okay? He talked about we feel we're walking on a dangerous thing it's true okay the unpredictability unpredictability I yes love that. Uh, yes of course because uh, again it's what we call the moment to moment okay and, right. and we do it all right um, and it it's when you get that feeling of these things kind of just coming forth and that beautiful feeling sometimes it doesn't happen too sometimes you go oh geez, what is going to happen and it doesn't happen okay but when it does happen oh sissy that's better than sex. <laughs> oh, oh, Frank, it's like, it's like perfection. It's like he talks yeah, about absolutely. the subconscious, right. Frank, to, yeah, to, to, yeah. to be take over yeah. by all that yeah. and just yeah. let it happen. It happen. Yes. Let right. it happen. Right. Like, you know, like, you know, doing a play, like doing a show, like yeah. doing an interview, like right. doing this right, right. now. Yeah. We are right. here yes, yeah. listening, right. well, and I have to learn to relax right, more, yeah. and I have to, you know, right. I'm doing my schooling, right. like no, every week right. is an exercise for me, but it's a sense of that I don't know what's going to happen. No, yeah, but there's a, there's, a, there's a part of it, too, that has that kind of magic that children have, okay? Uh, you can, uh, we will see this at some time. We can see ourselves on tape, but that's not what I'm talking about. When, as a writer...